Here I'm going to show you the Beers Law Lab, and I'm going to show you how to construct a calibration curve like this using the LabQuest 2. So what I have here is 0.4 molar nickel sulfate solution, 0.32 molar, 0.24 molar, 0.16 molar, 0.08 molar, and then distilled water. And what I've done is I have taken each of those and put them into cuvettes. So this is the 0.04 molar, I'm sorry, 0.40 molar, 0.32, 0.24, 0.16, 0.08, .08, and 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into the SpectraVis Plus, which shines a light from this side to a detector over here. And the light that makes it through gets detected. And that uh, amount of current will tell you how much light is being absorbed and how much is being transmitted, which then can be displayed on the screen here. So here's our setup. We haven't done anything yet. Uh, first, what I would do is I would go to sensors and then I would go ahead and click on calibrate and then calibrate my spectrophotometer. That just involves letting this warm up, which I have already done. So I'm going to skip that. And then I'm going to put my distilled water in here and hit finish calibration. And then that's going to go ahead and set a background here to how much light gets absorbed just by the cuvette itself and the distilled water at all the different wavelengths. And then I go ahead and hit OK. And now I'm set to start. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pick my wavelength to use. So to do that, I'm going to put in my most concentrated. I'm going to hit play. And this is going to show me all of the different colors of light that are being absorbed. So this is absorbing some in the violet spectrum, uh, some in the red, and then the green is being transmitted, which is why that's the color that we see. So I'm going to need to pick a wavelength. So I'm going to pick one over here. You, ideally, you pick one that's kind of higher than the other ones, but I'm going to go ahead and pick one that's actually in the visible range. I can. Oh, of course, it helps if you hit stop. So when I set that there, that's going to automatically now set that to be able to run. So, so now what I want to do is I want to go to this meter tab over here. And then I want to go from doing the full spectrum to doing events with entry. So that's right here. Oops, wrong one. Okay, and so then I'm going to type in concentration with units of molarity. And I'm going to kind of tip this up so you don't have to... So there's concentration. I'll hit done. Looks like I missed a spot. And then for the units, I'm going to put molarity. So I'm just going to do a capital M. Okay, and then I'm set. So now I have my wavelength set, and this is now telling me what the absorbance is. So I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to start collecting my data. Okay, so now each time I put one of these solutions in, it's going to tell me what the absorbance is. So I'm going to start with my blank. So my absorbance should be about zero, which it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit keep down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to type in what the concentration is. In this case, it was zero. And that just kept my point. So now I'm going to take this out and put in my next one. My next one is my 0.08 molar. So I'm going to put that in over here. A little more here as I'm done. So now I do have an absorbance. It's this 0.142. I'm going to hit keep. And I'm going to type in my 0 0.08 for my concentration. So that's now plotting what my concentration is versus what my absorbance is. So I'll take that out, put my next one in. So each time I do this, my concentration should be going up. You want to give it a second to stabilize. And then once it does, you can go ahead and keep. And then each time we're going to go ahead and type in what our next value is, 0 0.16. I'll take that out, go to the next one. So again, I want it to stabilize 0 0.480, and it looks like it's staying around there. And 
0.650, that looks good, let's keep that. And our last one, the 0.4, this one should be the biggest absorbance of all of them. And then stabilize, we can keep that. Okay, so now you can see that we have this linear result. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit stop. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to analyze this. So for graph, you wanna hit graph, and then under graph options, you wanna hit auto scale from zero. That's gonna put you through the axis, or the, I'm sorry, the zero, zero intercept origin. Then you wanna to go to analyze, and we wanna put a curve fit on. Curve fit, we're gonna select our curve. And then for the type, we want linear. You could also do proportional, I suppose. So this is giving me the y equals mx plus b for this particular plot. And you can see I have a little bit of error here on this point. It's a little too low. Um, but other than that, I'm getting a slope of 2.0844 and intercepts just below zero, which makes pretty good sense. It should be zero, but close enough. And then here's my correlation, 0.99746. Okay, so that's my calibration curve. What I can then do is I can find the absorbance of my unknown for y and then plug that in and then divide by the slope value and, and get rid of the intercept value and then solve for x, which would be my concentration. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna take my unknown and put that in. So here's my unknown solution. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in. And my meter says that it's point 0.260 is the absorbance. So what I can do is I can plug in 0 0.260 as y and then I can add 0 0.023965, I can divide by my slope, and that'll tell me what my concentration is. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can actually go on here and kind of look at where these points are. So this right here has an absorbance of 0.267. If this one is 0 0.260, it should be a concentration a little bit below that, although this particular point is off from the line from a, for a little bit, so we'd probably be better off using the line in this case to make that judgment, okay? So there it is, there's your data, and there is how you would run this, and at this point you're done, you can go ahead and put your solutions back or dump them depending on what you're supposed to do with them.